You ever hear of him? No. <laughs> well, for Mean Besa, you just met your great, great, great grandfather. Wow. Third great grandfather. I didn't know the roots went back that far. <laughs> Our researchers discovered that her third great grandfather, Fermin, was the son of a merchant who was likely involved in the slave trade. And Fermin himself owned at least one human being. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. I mean, my mother's family does look white, so, you What know. you got against Spain? <laughs> <laughs> Just the colonization of other people. <laughs> you know, I'm, and I'm surprised that they were enslavers, actually. Yeah. Um, that that's, is, a, that's disappointing. And that's a lot to deal with. Yeah. At first, I was deeply disappointed. Um, the I still, slave thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. And uh, I and I can control and, it. And I, I still believe, <laughs> I know, but I still still believe in reparations, like, by whoa. the way. So y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. <laughs> That's I still believe. Uh, that someone did that too. Yeah. I don't know who what? sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's 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 too much, people. But, Clean off your television screen. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a lot. So I, 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 I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. Um, but what I will say, Sarah, to your question is that I feel that um, I'm enriched by knowing that history. Yeah. I, I'm enriched. And I'm enriched by knowing that my family has come so far from being enslavers to my mother marrying my father in 1968. Well, yeah. That the lived experience of uh, a white kid in Appalachia or pay, perhaps on a potato farm in uh, Idaho or in Brooklyn, is, or in Brooklyn, Brooklyn yeah. is different in this country for a black student, yeah. whether that it's black student be wealthy or not, because this yeah. country was founded on slavery. We're yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country, and I feel we like we, well, we don't know that. The FBI director said white supremacy is but that the does, biggest but that threat still to our country today. Well, that still doesn't mean that that's the vast majority of people are. I just don't believe that in my day-to-day -day life that the people that you're encountering harbor racist viewpoints. I do think that this division that if we're you creating... you look like me, you would believe differently. But you know what, uh, Alyssa, the woman... The woman... So, but just to, just to understand, are we saying, do we think the vast majority of Americans are racist? That's I, what I'm trying to... I, I, help I, me I understand. I think that there is a significant portion um, that are racist and you can't dismiss my lived experience. And I, I never yeah, would when say, I, yeah, I, don't, I, I would never dismiss When I say it. that there are a lot of racists in this country, oh, I, I just agree. experienced I my son walking down the beach being called the N-word several times in Florida. There is, so don't, you can't say, I believe that the vast majority of people aren't racist. We don't but again, know. we, I, we okay, don't that's know that. Fair. There are 300 million people in this country. Right. I would never minimize your lived experience any yeah. more than I would yeah. mine but, as but, an but Arab she, woman. Sunny Hostin went, she, I think she went to Binghamton uh, undergrad and she went to Notre Dame Law School, which is a great law school. Her son right now is at Harvard. That son she wants us to think is sitting there oppressed who she's got to fight on behalf of because America is so awful to him. They're educating him right now at Harvard University. And Jason, would you take a look at this? Because I'm going to guess, I haven't been to your house down in Tennessee, but I'm going to guess it doesn't look like this. This is Sonny Hostin's home in this shitty country that she can't stand that doesn't treat black people like Sonny well. She let People Magazine feature <laughs> her home. Look at this dump. This country sucks. It, it, she went to Notre Dame Law School. She makes millions on The View. Her son's at Harvard. I'm sure her daughter's at private school on her way to some Ivy League. This is where Sonny lives. And F off, America. I can't stand how you've kept us all in chains. That's her messaging. 